All right, guys, so good morning. We, or not we, well, me and Kira, we're back out of the lake, and we're gonna do some drift fishing today. I don't think we've uh, tried drift fishing for, for cats in, I think since February, probably was the last time we tried out here. So we're gonna give it a go. Uh, Alexis was supposed to come with me this morning but she wasn't feeling the, uh, too well when we got up this morning so it's just gonna be me and Kira um, and hopefully hopefully a we can find some blues but then secondly uh, what we're trying to do is we want to see if we can do a, a catch clean and cook and probably do some uh, fried catfish tonight but we got to catch some fish first so we'll give it a go we're gonna see how we do as you can tell there's no wind so we are drifting with the trolling motor and I also got some planer boards out. So I got one planer board. I mean, I don't know how well you can see it. I got one right there and I got another one right down here. I'm going to let them go out a little bit further. I just need to let out some more line, but yeah, so we're going to do some drifting. Got two planer boards. Uh, we got those uh, demon, uh, demon dragon rigs and we got the pig floats. So we're going to be drifting with, uh, I think I got three peg flows, three demon dragons, and we're going to have two of the, uh, the planer boards. So yeah, so wish us luck. We literally just got started. I just got set up. Um, it's probably about 7.30 right now. So I'm going to give it a go. See how we do. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are starting our second drift. Uh, first drift, we drifted... Oh, probably about 45 minutes. Uh, targeted a, a big, uh, big hump right in front of uh, between the crappie wall and the dam. Uh, no bites. Saw fish on the bottom, just they aren't hitting. So we're gonna start our second drift. Little snag, but we're gonna start our second drift here. Um, we started off on one side of the of the hump. Kind of did like a long drift on one side of it. Now we're going to try the opposite side of the hump. And uh, if we don't get anything here, uh, we may shift off to just uh, maybe just deeper flat water. Probably target an area in front of the dam that's it's just going to be strictly probably just about 40 feet all the way down. So usually when I come out here, I'd like to target these humps first. See if there's anything lying on there. Like I said, I did mark some fish. They just weren't hitting. So, you know. We'll just give it a go. So the thing I like about drift fishing, you can cover a lot of water instead of just, especially for blues. Uh, reds I like to anchor up and just, you know, try different different spots that I'm familiar with. But uh, when I'm drifting, I like I want to be able to cover a lot of water. So yeah, second drift. Probably give this one also probably a good, you know, 45 minutes. And if we don't get anything here, then we will uh, be moving on to another spot. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I was actually just picking up my rods to move to another spot. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice blue. Not huge, but it'll be good for dinner. All right.
Got him on the demon dragon. So that's not a monster, but you know what? That will feed at least two of us. You get one more dinner for me, Alexis, and my wife, Sheena. So yeah, first blue, no skunk. All right, let me get the rest of my rods up. That uh, that one fish won't keep me here. If I had a lot more bites, I probably would stay. So we're gonna pick up, we're gonna change spots. All right guys, so we're set up and we're starting our third drift. So yeah, I got the, the one blue on the second drift. Um, I don't know, he probably weighs about maybe three pounds. Uh, he'll be some good dinner. Uh, hopefully I can get one more and uh, so yeah we're gonna start a third drift same thing same routine probably start about you know do it about 45 minutes uh, kind of see where we where we're at we get any hits uh, when I brought in my lines I did notice actually uh, two chicken breasts were missing on two of the other uh, rods so it looks like I got a potential hit that I never noticed so uh, I did have some more I think half half carp and then the other half was chicken breasts so I went ahead and just switched everything to chicken breasts except for one rod I left with carp so we'll see if that makes a difference uh maybe they want more chicken breast so we'll see so man it's hot you know days like this when it's like no wind whew. i know some people say it's nice it is not <laughs> especially out here when there's no wind you got that sun just you know bouncing off the water and it's hitting you from above also uh, it doesn't make for a fun trip very hot so i really wish there was a little bit of wind blowing but you know it is what it is can't control the weather so we're gonna continue give it a go probably do another maybe three drifts and then uh probably call it a day and then head on in but at least right now as it stands we got one for dinner so stay tuned Might have one of the planer boards. God, I hope he didn't let go. Yeah, he's still on there. Sometimes it's hard to tell on those planer boards. They're nice for getting the, the lines out. But man, they create a lot of drag. He's kind of running all over the boat. Uh, actually, you know what? That might be a red.
Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a red. Guys, obviously not what we're fishing for, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm trying to keep them from crossing my lines. A nice red too. get reds often on chicken breast but it, it does happen every once in a while Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Wow, well, definitely not what I was expecting, but I will take it. Oh yeah guys, not what I was fishing for. But I'll take it. God dang, it's about 31 inches. Whew. I mean, I'll make some good dinner too. Tell you what, I can probably do a, probably do a catch, clean, and cook on this guy also. Well, these big ones, I'll probably deep fry it. The same thing as a catfish. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice. All right. All right, let me get another bait out in the water. Dang guys, I think I got another one. Okay. Shit, I think I got two. Let me get all these other lines out of the water before they get all crossed. Definitely got one on that one. Ooh. 
Oh my god. Really hoping they're not crossed. channel and knock my weight off shoot I never saw these get hit okay let me get rid of this back in my video and see see when these guys hit this guy must have been pulling line for a while there's a lot of line out not a huge one Probably dinner. Whew. All right, guys. So definitely this, these were not the target species, definitely not what I was going for, but I'm not going to turn them down, and yeah, this guy's about 22. Whew, alright, we'll keep them. Now I'm debating about going back to that spot again. I might get more reds. All right, guys. So we got a uh, we got all set up. So yeah, I got got two reds and a, and a channel catfish. Man, I was trying to get that channel catfish in the box real quick to deal with those reds. I uh, was not expecting those, but uh, like I said, our our target fish today is blues. I mean, I've had reds hit before in chicken breast, but it's usually like one every once in the you know blue moon. So I got two of those back to back. So uh, I may just do one more drift through there. See if I can pick up one more and they'll give me my limit. And then I can continue on for some, some blues. So yeah, let me get all set up so I need to bait some lines and stuff. And then uh, we'll, we'll get, back, get back to fishing. See you later. Bye, see you later. Guys, it is hot. Uh, shout out to JT and his son. Uh, they watch my videos, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. I just saw them right here at the dock real quick. They're fishing from the bank, so good luck, guys. But man, it is hot and I am getting out of here.
I initially wanted to fish till about maybe one, but man, caught it right at, right a little bit before 11 o'clock. I mean, I got my dinner, so we're gonna go clean them. I got the two reds, got a channel, got a blue. I was gonna do a, a catch, clean, and cook for the blues, but uh, figure I'll do on the red instead. I can use the uh, the video for the catch, clean, and cook. I can do uh, fish tacos for one. Probably for the smaller red and the bigger red, we're probably gonna deep fry it. So I'll show you guys how, how we do that at our house. So yeah, so enjoy the video and I'll see y'all later. All right guys, so yeah, so I'm here at home. And uh, so I know I talked in the video about doing a uh, catch, clean and cook. Um, but unfortunately when I got to the cleaning station, uh, I thought I had the camera angled, you know, on my forehead at the right angle for the, uh, the cleaning portion. It didn't quite come out correctly. Plus also, uh, there was a lot of other people around the, the, the cleaning table area and, and you can't really hear what I'm saying very well. There's just a lot of, uh, uh, background noise. So we're going to end up doing another one, which it works out fine anyways, uh, because I wanted Alexis, uh, my daughter to be part of it. So we're going to go do a, probably a couple more videos in summer and hopefully we'll actually get what we actually targeted. So I know today I targeted blue cats and we did land some reds, but you know, next time we go out, whatever the target species is, um, that's what we want to do as far as the, uh, the catch, clean and cook. But don't worry, we're going to get some coming. Uh, just got to get Alexis out there and then once we get them done, we'll get them uploaded. So enjoy this video of me at the lake by myself. It was really hot. I had to get out of there. Uh, no wind and it was miserable. So yeah, see y'all later. Bye and That's my turtle She's about 18 years old All right, catch you later